Welcome again, wonderful Wildcats. So today we're looking at Tuesday, November 14th, Factor Sum and Difference of Cubes on page 33. So if you would, update your table of contents. All right, now your table of contents are updated. Let's take a look at our notes. All right, Factor Sum and Difference of Cubes on page 33. So when you're factoring Sum and Difference of Cubes, you basically look for if you have A cubed plus B cubed, then you use this formula. If you have a cubed minus b cubed, use this formula, okay? So you're going to want to keep these out as you're working the examples, okay? So if you would, update your notes. All right, now that your notes are updated, let's take a look at the examples. And again, you probably want to draw lines to keep your work organized. So example one. So it looks like we have a cubed minus b cubed. So we're going to use this formula. But we have to understand what a and b are. Okay. So you have to think, well, what do you cube to get 8x cubed? Well, 2 cubed gives you 8, and x cubed gives you x cubed. So a is 2x. All right, and then you ask yourself, well, what do you cube to give you 27? Well, that's 3, so b is 3. So now you have that. You identify which form you're going to use. In this case, we're going to use this one because we have the difference of cubes. So we use this form. So that equals a minus b times a squared. plus a times b plus b squared. Now you notice I'm using color so you can see you can follow where a and b is going as we work. So a is 2x, so 2x minus 3 a squared plus a times b. plus b squared. And then you simplify, so that's just 2x minus 3. 2 squared is 4, x squared is x squared, so that's 4x squared. 3 times 2 is 6, so that's plus 6x plus 9. And that is the factored form of AX cubed minus 27. All right. Now, what you might do on this video is, as I do an example, you might try the next example. So, like, you might pause it, try example two, and then replay the video, okay? All right, so let's look at example two. So, it looks like we have the sum of two cubes, 
So we have to figure out what A and B are. So A, well, 5 cubed is 125, and X cubed is X cubed. So we know A is 5X. And then B, we think, well, what is what cubed is 64? And that's 4. So we're using the sum of two cubes. So that's A plus B times A squared minus A times B plus B squared. So then that's 5x plus 4 times 5x squared minus 5x times 4 plus 4 squared. And then we simplify. So that's 5x plus 4. 5 squared is 25. x squared is x squared. So that's 25x squared minus 5 times 4 is 20. x plus 4 squared is 16. And then this is the factored form of 125x cubed plus 64. To update that. All right, let's look at example three. All right, it looks like here you don't see a cubed, but you see an x to the fourth and x and a 4 and a 108. So it looks like you can factor out a greatest common factor. So before we do that, let's add some lines. So our greatest common factor, it looks like it's 4x. So that leaves x cubed. Because 4x times x cubed is 4x to the fourth. And if you divide 108 by 4, you get 27. So 4x times 27 is 108x. So now we have 4x times the sum of two cubes. So we leave the 4x on the outside, and we know that that's the sum of cubes. So then that's, using our notes, that's a plus b. times a squared minus a times b plus b squared. Now, we almost forgot. We need to identify what a and b are. So a is... Well, x cubed gives you x cubed, so a is x, and then 3 cubed is 27, so b is 3. So 
So then that's 4x times a, which is x, plus b, which is 3. x squared minus 3x times 3 plus 3 squared. And then we simplify. So that's 4x times x plus 3 x squared minus 3x plus 9. So this is the factor form of 4x to the 4th plus 108x. All right, so you might try example four. Sorry to take a water break. Math is an exhausting sport. All right, so now I assume you've tried the problem, so now let's look at it. So it's the same as example three in that here, we have a greatest common factor of, in this case, 2x squared. Okay, so then that's x cubed is left, and then minus 8. So a is x, and b is 2. Because x cubed is x cubed and 2 cubed is 8. So now this is the this is 2x squared times the difference of cubes. So that's 2x squared times a minus b times a squared plus a times b plus b squared. So that equals 2x squared. a is x, so x minus 2. That's x squared plus x times 2 plus 2 squared. And then we simplify, so that's 2x squared times x minus 2x squared plus 2x plus 4. And so that is the factor form of 2x to the fifth minus 16x squared. All right, let's take a look at example 5. Now, example five, first issue is that you want to put the exponent in the front. So we're going to do that. But before we do that, let's add some lines. Okay. 
All right, so we're going to rewrite this as negative and put a 1. x to the 6 plus 8. Now, it's a harder to see what a is in this case. But if you look at it this way, negative 1x squared cubed would equal negative 1x squared, negative 1x squared, negative 1x squared. And you know that because 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 2 is 6. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 times negative 1 is a negative 1. So a is negative 1x squared. Now, I'd hope by now you'd see that B is 2, because 2 cubed is 8. All right, so we have the, in this case, the sum of two cubes. So then that is A plus B times A squared. minus a b plus b squared so that's negative 1x squared plus 2 And that's negative one x squared squared minus a negative one x squared times two plus two. So then that's negative 1x squared plus 2. Now negative 1 squared is a positive 1, and x squared, you multiply exponents as 4, so that's 1x to the 4th. A negative times negative is positive, so that's a positive 2x squared and plus 4. So this is the factored form of 8 minus x to the 6th power. All right, last problem. So we first want to identify a and b. So a in this case is x because x cubed is x cubed. And now here's an issue. There is no number Q that gives you 9. So this is not factorable. By the sum or difference of cubes. And that's at the end of the story. You can't factor some of the difference of cubes if A and B aren't cubes. All right. So, again, at this point, you have two paths you can go. You can um, wait to class, and I can answer the questions on the examples you had questions with, or you can start working on the assignment. Either way, have a wonderful Wildcat lesson.